Hi, this is a quick tutorial for parents that have recently been sent a welcome email from their school um, and it gives you an overview of your experience that you may have with ChildCloud and using the system. So let's get started. We, You would be sent a email that would look something like this from your school and um, welcome you to ChildCloud explaining what the system can do and you'd be required to click a link to create a password. Please do make sure that your password is secure and um, once you've entered your password in, just try and memorize it and then click the submit button. You'll then land on your child's um, um, feed, which would look something like this. The, hopefully the school would have added lots of content, so when you do log in, um, it's fairly interactive. Um, this is just an example, it's for a demo school, and please bear in mind that this system um, it, um, accommodates children from grades naught up to grade 12, so your, your profile will obviously be very different if your child is in grade 10, for example. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you can do is basically go in if you wish, if the school allows you to, to edit your child's profile. Medical details, you've got allergies, medical conditions for your child. You can put as much information in here as you want. Um, if, you, if your email address changes, you can update it on the system. Updating your mobile number. We've then got a section called Other Contacts, which is where you can, you can add proof pickups of who can pick up your child, emergency contacts, person responsible for the account, and so forth. You can add dietary requirements for your child. You can even up upload a profile photo for your child. The media permissions is quite an important section. It varies per school, um, but that is where you as the parent can give permission of what information you wish to share on ChildCloud. Okay, moving on to your child's dashboard. This is basically what you'll see when you first log in via your mobile phone, your iPad, your laptop, um, and it's a quick snapshot of every module within the system. I'm going to run through them very quickly. You've got your activity feed, which categorizes different categories. You can filter them, and it just it's a nice, if, if the teacher uses this feature, it's just a nice way to stay in touch of what's happening with your child on each and every day. You've got an attendance button. Um, it takes a little bit of time to load, but once it loads, it gives you a snapshot of that term, how many days your child's been present and absent. Birthdays is quite simply, um, it just lists every child in your, in your um, child's class with upcoming birthdays. It's important to note that you only ever see information relating to your child's class. The calendar shows you, um, for example, anything coming up in the future. You've got your class list. These are all the parents within your child's class. If you do not want your email address or phone number to be displayed, you can click on the edit privacy settings and you can literally choose to show or hide your email address and your phone number. Okay, you've got contacts, which is all the contacts within the school. You can see the teachers and the staff. If the school allows you to, you can email the parent, I mean the teacher. You've got a section called email and SMS, which shows you an archive of every email and SMS the school sends you. You've got a gallery. A homework module. Invitations, if a parent wants to invite you to their child's birthday party, you have the ability to accept or decline via ChildCloud. This is the parent-teacher conferencing module. Teacher can load time slots. For example, this is the date and the time, and if you are available on a certain day and time, you can book yourself in for that slot and the teacher gets notified. And you will get an automated reminder the day before reminding you of that time slot. The news feed, there's no news announcements, but that's where it would load. The reminders would appear over here. 
These are permission slips. So this is for a permission slip, for example, for soccer under 10. Um, you click on the permission slip to view it. The date and the time, the school's details, and if you want, if you give permission for your child to attend, you would give permission. You would sign the slip and click submit. You've got a timetable, so you can you can view your child's timetable. Um, there's the virtual classroom. If your child is off sick or if a school is on lockdown for any reason, you can go into the virtual classroom. You can click on a lesson. There's the lesson called Condensation with the topic of heat and thermal energy for the subject of science. You can click on Condensation and you can read that lesson to your child or the child can read it themselves. And there's a video up to load. There's also a calendar that lists every lesson. So these are all the lessons I've loaded for this parent. You click on the lesson and there it is. And the last module is the volunteer module. If a teacher is looking for a, a mystery reader, a driver, a soccer dad, um, for chef day, what have you, you can go online and you can basically allocate yourself to a slot. You can cancel a slot. So let's just try that again. Go into volunteers. There's an available slot and you can book yourself in. Lastly, there's a button at the top that's where you would have access to your profile. You can upload a profile photo over here. You can change your email address or your mobile number. You can change your privacy settings. And lastly, you can log out. If you've got any questions, please email support at childcloud.co.za.